So I got this question recently on whether they should use robo advisors and specifically Acorn. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this short video is just address Acorn and why I it's not a thing for me why I am not investing in it. But I will do or could do or can do or can consider doing other apps when you ask me to do. So for now, Acorn. It's a funny name, first of all. I didn't like the name. Anyway, okay, it's not that bad. It's not that subjective is what I mean. So first thing, I have to say three reasons. So it's basically, again, before getting to the reasons, what does the app do? The app basically takes your, well, the app is built for Anytime you uh, buy something, let's say you buy a latte for 370, first of all, why? But also, again, okay, that's fine. You do you whatever you want. But anyway, the rest of the change, the 30 cents, uh, and some multiple of it, if you decide, goes to your investing uh, account, your Acorn account. And it's pretty corny. It's Acorny. <laughs> anyway, so it goes into your account, and then you decide how to invest, and it goes and invests in your whatever fund you've chosen. In whatever um, selection of ETFs or stocks that you decided. Um, so that was what happens in the one dollar a month choice and then two dollars a month choice that allows you to invest in something else and three dollars a month is again it's not like very descriptive in detail review it's just me saying what it is and why it's for me or not for me. So in dollar three a month they also offer you checking account and then they give you a debit card which gives one dollar one percent back but then again it's debit it's one percent back why would you use it if you have credit cards two or more percent back right so there is no reason on the top of it now coming to the three reasons why specifically i did not was the first one that is first one is that it allows you to spare invest spare change now if you're someone who does not save at all if you're someone who does not watch your savings at all if you're someone who does not care about savings at all, okay, many at all, but it is very difficult for you to save anything, this is a good excuse, I would say, maybe, to sign up and save a little bit of change. But again, I would say, why not be a different kind of person? Why not change your mindset? Why not... A lot of lecturing here, but I feel like... The investment strategy should not be to invest cents of your change. It should be to review what you're doing wrong or right. Um, I feel that should be it. But anyway, so I don't, I don't think that's substantially going to change your life. And not for me. And I like to watch how much I'm saving. So hopefully you do the same. In which case, Acorn is just Acorn. <laughs> you know, it's just any other app. So that's what. Second. I like to invest in individual stocks. I like to see and invest in my portfolio, divide my portfolio into the number of stocks that I believe in. If you're not, that's fine, but I feel it's really fun and more than fun and interesting and exciting and, you know, mind-blowing and heart-breaking and, <laughs> and everything else. It is also very, uh, what do you say? knowledge adding it's also opens up the world of why to pick some stock you want i feel like it's very important but in case you don't want to do it i feel like there are many options but uh, any other op many other options uh, but for me i want to pick individual stocks and an acorn you can invest in select funds or indexes but that's not my primary motive and it's not gonna be big anyway the third thing was the fee now i know it's just dollar a month or two dollars a month or we're checking three dollars a month but that could add up and why do it at all so right now I'm like going there's so many options and I'm super going frugal and not using anything I don't need because they all end up eating into your returns right so if you're starting with um, four thousand dollars let's say for this trial account you could have a lot more but you're like you know putting in four thousand we're trying acorn now and this with three dollars a month fee could add up to 36 dollars i don't know some mini fees here and there 40 dollars what happens it's your one percent why waste that one percent if you beat the s p by one percent that would be a feat that would be a big feat you could get a job like i know you may already have a job what i'm meaning to say is you could get an investment management professional job but what I'm saying is 
that's the meaning of one person, the importance of one person, why we said one person. If there is other things like Robinhood, Rebo, and now basically every other brokerage offering free, um, including some robo-advisors like SoFi and Motive offering free ones, why would you go to them? Again, I'm not reviewing this in whole or others. I'm just saying what Acorn means to me and why I would not, and I have not invested or opened or gone through that route. But other apps, you're interested in knowing, let me know. By the way, um, I have a YouTube video coming out on why fractional investing is game changing. If you haven't done fractional investing, get into it. It would, it would dramatically, dramatically improve how flexible you are with your portfolio. I explain all the choices that you could use, the apps you could use, the brokerages you could use. And you let me know how your returns changed or how your mindset about the freedom that you have in this market will dramatically change. Like some beliefs that you have about the market that, oh, this is the way it works and this is the way how to get around it. And this is the disadvantage of me being a small guy in a big system. Just, it's all shackles. Break the shackles. So go ahead and watch that pretty soon. Coming back, this was Acorn. Let me know if any other app you would like me to review.